And now to the south of the continent, where the United Nations Refugee Agency has warned the number of people fleeing Mozambique and Sagenga Salem in Malawi has grown significantly in the last few weeks. This follows reports of clashes between Mozambique's government forces and the opposition Mozambican National Resistance. CCTV's Clementine Logan has the latest. The United Nations Refugee Agency has said that in Wanza District, which is south of Malawi's capital, Lilongwe, it's registered nearly 1,300 arrivals, the majority women and children, and from Mozambique's Tete province. Also worrying reports of parents having been separated from their children as they fled those violent clashes between Mozambique's government and opposition forces. Some refugees also recounting to UNHCR atrocities they say were committed, including the destruction of homes and killings. However, it's thought that hundreds more are awaiting registration and that the total number of refugees could be as high as 2,800. Certainly, though, there's been a stepping up of relief efforts in the region amidst fears of a spike in malaria cases as well as a possible cholera outbreak. And perhaps anticipating even larger numbers of arrivals, Malawi's government is reportedly considering reopening the Lawani refugee camp, which previously hosted Mozambican refugees during their country's civil war. These are worrying developments for Malawi, a country that's already hosting some 25,000 refugees from across the Great Lakes region and with already limited resources. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Lilongwe, Malawi.